After my last big project, I needed something small to rejuvenate me. Also, I needed something to do in short spurts, since I've been looking after both my young children more often these days. I thought a clock would be a good project. This is a story about time. I went to the lumber side of my shop and picked out some short drops of eight quarter material. I decided on using a piece of eight quarter curly silver maple and since I didn't need a two inch thick clock, I resawed it in half, taking it nice and slow on my well-tuned bandsaw. After planing the saw marks off, I ended up with about a seven eighths inch board. Then I headed to my shop laptop and designed a file in the inventable software Easel, taking measurements off the clock movement I had ordered. Once I had my file designed, I clicked Carve and let the Xcarve do its thing while I went to spend time with my family. I'll put a link to this file in the description if you want to make one yourself. I came back and inspected my carve and moved back over to the bench. After my last clock build, a few viewers commented about laying out the hours and asked why I didn't just move the minute hand around one full rotation and mark the hour. It's because it didn't occur to me and I thought it was a great idea. After laying out the hours, I took the movement out and headed to the drill press. I used my obviously dull half-inch plug cutter to cut some plugs out of walnut. Then headed to my big bandsaw with a 3 TPI blade installed, which is clearly too aggressive. So I headed to my small bandsaw with a much less aggressive blade. Back at the drill press, I bored out some half inch mortises to be filled by the plugs. I used some hand screw clamps on my makeshift fence to make a simple jig for accuracy. It was about this time I realized the irony of me making a clock in these uncertain times. With each passing hour, the future seems more grim. People watching the clock to see if their government will make another serious announcement. With businesses shutting down, schools closing, and people out of work due to things that are out of their hands, times are tough for a lot of people. And I'm making a clock to put on YouTube to remind people of time? It was heavy on my mind. Then I thought maybe I was helping. Maybe this video is providing enjoyment to you while you are at home socially distancing yourself. Or maybe this will give you inspiration to build something small with your kids while they are at home and not in school. Even if you don't have the tools I have, this could be a simple project with a router and a drill press or even a cordless drill. I sincerely hope wherever you are in the world, you are staying healthy and safe. Times are tough, but I think we as a global community are tougher. If you are stuck at home with your families not being able to work, try to enjoy it. Don't think about the tough times, but think about the time you get to create memories. If you're stuck at home without a family, try to enjoy some shop time. Try getting creative with your scrap pile. If you haven't been affected by the pandemic and are still able to work, try to support local or small businesses. Try getting takeout from local restaurants, ordering products from small businesses like DFM Toolworks or Blue Spruce Tools. I'll put a link to some more in the description. 
where you could buy this clock. I'll be auctioning it off on Instagram in the next coming days. So if you're interested in bidding on it, head over to my Instagram to see the auction. You can also support the companies that support us creators here on YouTube, like Inventables. If you aren't in a position to spend money right now, you have my full sympathy. The one thing I do know is that time is always moving forward, and we will too. Thanks for watching.